Hi everyone. Um, well, we're nearly at Christmas and for many of us in the church, we've been really thinking over this past few weeks as to what Christmas means to us. I know for the, a lot of people in the world, Christmas means uh, parties and as one advert on the television for waitress, it says Christmas is about the food. Well, um, for Christians, of course, it's not about that. It's about the coming of Christ, um, of God coming as a baby uh, to save us. And I am really pleased that even though um, the secular world tries very hard to take Christ out of Christmas, you can't. Of course, it's the first few letters in the word Christmas, Christmas. And I'm really pleased that when we have our carol services and our nativity and our crib service and our midnight mass, lots of people who don't normally come to church still come because they want to celebrate that Christmas is not about presents, not about even just the family. It is about God's love for us. Here in the West, we celebrate on December the 25th. If you lived in the East and were a Christian, you might celebrate on January the 7th because none of us really knows the exact day of Jesus's birth. What we do know, of course, is that he was born. Um, historical records from the time that was are still preserved after 2000 years um, can document that the things that the Gospels spoke of, the people and the places and the events actually did happen. Um, and we can pinpoint the birth of Jesus to within one or two years of, um, of his birth. But for hundreds and hundreds of years, Christians have celebrated the birth of Christ on those two dates, 25th of December or the 7th of January. And why not? because it's something worth celebrating. The coming of Christ to earth was tremendous. It's jaw-droppingly amazing that though Jesus was a human baby, he is also God. And although we can understand a lot about God by looking at the world that he's made, it's only through Jesus that we understand his true nature. When we look at Jesus, we see that God has always been kind, always been loving, has always cared about ordinary people, has not had favourites, that he's, he's there for everyone. Uh, in the John's Gospel, when it talks about the birth of Christ, instead of talking about Mary and Joseph going to Bethlehem, he talks about it in a different way. And I'm just going to read you a bit from it. It says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that light was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognise him. And what John is saying there is that Jesus um, existed before he was born of Mary, that he is actually God the Creator, and he was instrumental um, in that creation of the world. And it's really important because sometimes people think the coming of Jesus was just an afterthought of God when things had gone wrong. But because of God, what John says in, in John chapter 1, and from many other scriptures, we know that it was always God's plan to send his son to save us. It was always God's plan to not just let mankind go on their own ways, but to help us to do what is right. Because of Jesus coming, we can know 
God because although he lived as an ordinary man in many ways he got hungry he was thirsty people insulted him um, they hurt him he, he got tired he never sinned he and he had the power to do great miracles when you read the Gospels you read that he raised three people from the dead he healed many people he walked on water, he calmed storms, he turned water into wine. And the biggest miracle, of course, is he rose from the dead. And that means that he's alive today, that we can know him. And because of that, we can have a relationship with him. You know, God is the first person I speak to on a morning and the last person I speak to on a night. There's no barrier between a Christian and God because of Jesus coming. It's life altering. So, celebrate Christmas. Yes, enjoy your family, your friends, the presents. But celebrate more the wonderful gift of God's love coming to earth to be with us, to show us what he's like and to find a way back to him. Because if we put our trust in him, he's promised that he'll give us his Holy Spirit to be with us always, to help us to live lives that please him, and to be loving and kind to one another, just as he has been to us. So, happy Christmas, everyone. <laughs>